Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a really long time since I responded to a Riley Dennis video. So long, in fact, I think I had a different nose the last time I did that. And I think Riley did too. Trannies, I swear, were like freaking Pokemon. Honestly, I try to avoid Riley's videos because I feel like they're all so tempting to respond to. I feel like there's not a single person on the face of this planet that I disagree with more than Riley Dennis. We'd see eye to eye on nothing. Riley is literally the anti-Blair White. Riley is like, we're like yin and yang. No, actually yin and yang, it meshes together and it's a positive thing. We're oil and water. How about that? But you guys have been sending me this one video lately and you want a reaction, response, debunking video. And for the longest time, I was avoiding every single email about it. Every DM, deny, I'm not gonna do it, no. And then I don't know what came over me, but I caved in and I watched it and every single sentence I disagreed with. So here we go, damn. So I know that Republicans will try to justify doing all sorts of inhumane things to people who they see as different from them, like migrants from Central America. I can't. Right out of the gate, I can't. So if you're not caught up, Riley is speaking about the issue with the caravan, which arrived at the US border recently. And there was an issue at the border in which those migrants were actually tear gassed, some children included, which is really, really devastating. Fact. I just take issue with the way that Riley opens up this conversation. Right off the bat, Riley is saying that it's a Republican justified thing, when if you look at the facts, that's not actually true. The Obama administration actually used tear gas reportedly monthly at the border, so at a much higher frequency than the Trump administration. And this isn't about, you know, what about ism. It's not about, well, this president did it, you didn't complain then. It's more about, it's just a false statement to say that this is a Republican sided thing when not only is it both sides, it's actually at a higher frequency on the other side. But over the last few days, it's just been absolutely wild to watch so many conservatives argue that actually tear gassing children is a good thing. Well, honestly, screw anyone who is arguing that, but I can't say I've seen it. What I have seen a lot of people argue is that these children should not have been placed in danger in the first place. There's a very important fact that Riley is leaving out of this video. In fact, Riley never mentions it at all in the video. It's a very big part of the story, which is that these migrants that were actually at the border were hurling rocks and bricks at federal agents, some of which landed and actually hit these agents. It's reported actually that the migrants actually pushed the women and children to the front and then from behind them, sort of using them as a shield, as a cover, were hurling the rocks and the bricks at the agents. Some things are just facts of life. So for instance, if I throw a rock or a brick at a police officer, you can best believe I'm probably going to be tased or have some kind of baton bopped upside my head. And that's just how that kind of goes. And this is the same thing on a bigger scale, federal agents protecting the border. You can't attack federal agents. And this gives more context as to why the migrants were tear gassed in the first place. It didn't happen out of a vacuum. It didn't happen for no reason. It was because there was actually assaults being made on federal agents. It can be true that it's tragic and disgusting that these kids had to endure tear gas. It's awful. And it can also be true that a country has a right and obligation to act if people are coming from a different country attacking us at the border. I mean, Riley, that's like the most basic function of government to protect from attackers at the border. This is a group of a few thousand people, including families, women, children, and LGBT plus people. And they all have one thing in common. They're fleeing violence in their home countries and seeking asylum in the US. By then enacting violence once they reach the border. It smells like bullshit. But you know what doesn't smell like bullshit? Perfume. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Scentbird. Yes, the Blair White channel was sponsored. I'm actually gonna be giving uh, a big portion of what I make from the sponsorship to a charity for kids' presents here in LA for Christmas. So Scentbird is amazing. It's actually a monthly perfume subscription box. They have a ton of really expensive, really nice quality fragrances for men and women, and you can get them for a lot cheaper than you would buying them individually. There's over 450 scents you can choose from every single month from really nice designers like Prada, Gucci, Tom Ford, Calvin Klein, etc. And every month you get a 30-day supply which is 120 to 140 sprays, which is a lot. And this is honestly perfect for me because I'm going to be flying so much for the holiday season and you don't want to carry a really big expensive bottle of perfume because sometimes TSA can be a little iffy with that, but these are perfect for flying. I got this one for Joey. It's a Gucci men's fragrance and... Oh my God, it's so good. You guys can click the link below to check out Scentbird and get 30% off with this code. And also thank you to Scentbird for helping me give some kids some Christmas presents this Christmas. But back to the video. Ooh. 
In the weeks leading up to the midterm elections, Republicans used the migrant caravan to scare their base into voting. Their fear-mongering tactics involved painting the caravan as full of criminals who are trying to invade the U.S. But I mean, did they do a good job of proving anyone wrong, though? <laughs> I mean, why would anyone ever describe you as an invader when you come to the border and attack federal agents? I just, I don't know. Like if I knocked on someone's door, wanted to go in the house, and they said no, or they said wait, um, and I just decided, no, I'm not going not gonna to take that answer. I'm going to throw some rocks at your head. Um, I don't think they'd let me in. Listen, I feel like if we're going to have a conversation about how tear gas was not necessarily the appropriate course of action for this incident and for other incidents like it, that's a real conversation. And I'm totally willing to have that. And honestly, I don't really know. Having that conversation does not go hand in hand necessarily with pretending as if the migrants were innocent victims. I don't think that's true either. It also doesn't go hand in hand with pretending like this is a partisan issue or this is an issue of just one party. As you might remember from history class, the US itself did turn away many Jewish people on the MS St. Louis who were trying to escape the Nazis. And hundreds of the people who the US turned away on that ship did end up dying in the Holocaust. I just wanna know why it always comes down to 1940s Germany comparisons. It just doesn't seem right to me, it doesn't, it, 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 there's no comparison in my opinion, just not. People are really out here defending the use of tear gas and still somehow demonizing the people being tear gassed? I just don't get it. I say this so much, but like, I don't know how to teach you how to have compassion. If you can see children being tear gassed and feel nothing, or even feel joy at that sight, you have some deep fundamental lack of compassion that I cannot comprehend. When you only tell one half of the story, Riley, which is what you're doing by excluding the fact that they were attacking border aid patrol agents, it's much easier to paint it as a senseless attack rather than a retaliation against foreign attackers, because that's in reality what it was. And no, I'm not saying that the children were attackers. They weren't. It was the adults and it was the men. How bad does it have to get before the people tear gassing children realize that they're the bad guys? I mean, Riley, I feel like the world is not divided into good guys and bad guys. Like it's not a Disney movie, honey. It's just not. It's real life and things are not as simple as migrants good, white people bad. I know that's what it is in your head possibly, but that's not real life. That is a false media fueled dichotomy that I feel like is tearing this country apart and I hate it. You know, this isn't about defending one side. Nothing I've said in this video is me trying to defend conservatives. It's me defending reality and telling the full picture story of what happened, the truth, which is easily resurgible and what is probably purposefully left out of your video, Riley. There's really not much more to say about Riley's video. It's a lot of the same, but I do want to announce something that I said I was gonna announce in the beginning of the video. I will be in Virginia this year for Christmas. I was there last year seeing Joey's family and you guys know that last year I did a meetup. The meetup was I think like two days before Christmas, two days notice that I posted about it because it was a random idea and 70 people showed up, which really, really blew my mind. Hey. So I figured, Listen, if I give people more of a heads up this time and it's not two days before Christmas, then there will probably be an even bigger turnout and more fun. So this is your heads up that I will be at Tyson's Corner Mall in Virginia Friday, December 21st to do a meetup. I will meet everyone. Obviously, whenever we do meetups, we take pictures, we hug, we talk, we cry sometimes, and it's just a really, really good time. Uh, so definitely if you live in Virginia area or if you want to make the travel out, I'd be so flattered. Um, make sure you guys come because last year was so much fun. I got to know so many of you guys. I made friends with you guys that I still to this day talk to. And uh, I would just love to see you guys again. Friday, December 21st, 2 p.m. Tyson's Corner Mall in Virginia. That is all for today's video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I read every single comment. If you love me a lot, make sure you become a member to my channel. Uh, our members have so much fun and we have exclusive videos that only members can see. Public cannot see them. They're not X-rated, I promise. Unless you want it to be, then, you know, maybe we can work something out. No, actually, no, 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 no. Click the link in the description to be a member and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.